When we're using OWPs, we should always look at what the task is and also look at the, the say systems of work involved with that task. So some things that come to mind when we're using those OWPs, um, is it specific to the task we want to use it for? If um, our work practices change, uh, do we need to get another machine that's, that's purpose built for the task or does it have the right attachments on it? Things that spring to mind are things like um, you know, maybe plastering if we've got to lift sheets up. Is the machine capable to lift the load? Uh, is the, the base or the work platform actually big enough to hold the materials inside it so that we're not holding materials up on the handrail where they could possibly fall out over the edge? Um, so there's a lot of things that we need to consider around those safe systems when we're, when we're using EWPs, things like um, purpose-built attachments to carry up pipes um, can be fitted and obviously too going back to the plaster so there's certain attachments that can be fitted. Um, we see a lot of glaziers carrying up glass and things like that so making sure that purpose-built attachments are, are capable to you know lift those loads and also to the, the work limit too is probably pretty specific. It's it's great to have an EWP on site when we're, when we're doing something and maybe we're, we're framing up or we're battening out, but then if that task changes and all of a sudden we're doing the cladding, then the weight that we've got in the machine or what we're actually doing with that machine may change, which means we have to look at the system of work we're doing and alter and maybe alter the machine to suit that system of work. When we load these things up with materials, whether it's a boom or a scissor, they may not be designed to carry the weight that we're loading them up with, which can then obviously cause them to tip. So a lot of materials when we are, we may be hanging over the edge of the basket or operating or, or we load up one side of the machine. Uh, it may just take an operator to walk over to that side as well and all of a sudden the machine can overbalance and it cause it to tip.